It's a meeting that started with a big boost, a new state grant, nearly $300,000, to help shore up Anne Arundel's groundbreaking Safe Stations Amnesty Program and its crisis response team. When you look at the numbers of people who are affected by this and the numbers of fatalities associated with with uh, heroin and opioid overdoses, it's, it's astronomical in terms of those numbers. And new statistics shared today confirm that Anne Arundel County's opioid crisis is deepening. In fact, Anne Arundel County is a case study for this uh, incredible uh, public health crisis and is among the worst hit in the state. As of July 19th, 649 overdoses reported here. That's way up from 490 at this time last year. This is very concerning because it seems like perhaps in some other district in jurisdictions, they are seeing a leveling off in the overdose rate. Here we are not seeing that at all. We're also unfortunately, tragically, seeing increases in those fatal overdoses. 85 of Anne Arundel County's overdoses this year have been fatal. And according to toxicology reports, 45% of those deaths involve fentanyl, 34% a combination of fentanyl and heroin, 10% carfentanyl, and only 11% of the deaths only involved heroin. Something that's still a work in progress. The team heard today how to prosecute drug overdose deaths. Law enforcement group leaders said prosecution is still a challenge because of current state law. In Anne Arundel County, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.